Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel BD and for today what we have in here it is the F1 2018. So F1 2018 was developed by the Codemasters, the same developers behind games like Dirt 4 and the latest F1 games and also Grit. So they have been using Ego Engine 4 for the latest F1 games and also for Dirt 4. Keep in mind that Dirt Rally 2 was recently announced, so it's coming for February next year. It is a very nice experience overall. Okay, so I invite you to watch my latest vlog. It's because uh, my Fanon 2 just died on me and now I'm using a landed Fanon 2 X4 from a friend of mine. Keep Make sure that you watch that vlog in order for you to understand what really happens. Anyway, the performance should be very similar. For this video, I will be using 1080p TAA checkerboarding, 4 times anisotropic filtering, and also pretty much the median preset. But like the usual stuff that I do on my channel, I always test with different settings, so I decided to test the game also with TAA and 60 times anisotropic filtering with the high settings and also the low settings with TAA checkerboarding and 4 times anisotropic. For this benchmark I will be using the benchmark tool, I decided to run Australia with clear day and also Monaco with heavy rain. So let's start with the results in Australia in clear day. So I've tested with the high settings plus TAA and the performance is a little bit all over the place between the 30 and 60 frames per second. The median settings plus TA checkerboarding was pretty good. It was pretty much 60 frames per second or above most of the time, but uh, sometimes it did drop down to something lower than 60 frames per second. The low settings it was pretty much the same on the minimums. Okay, so switching off to Monaco Heavy Rain, the high settings still uh, it is still a mix between the 30 and 60 frames per second. Median settings again averaging around 60 frames per second, so you can play at 60 frames with a couple of drops even there. And the low settings provides a slightly improvement. So the low settings is just a slightly improvement because the Fanon 2x4 can't handle the game at uh, above 60 frames per second. So which means that if you have a better CPU overall than the Fanon 2x4, probably you will be able to handle the game above 60 frames per second in the low settings. But the thing is, the low settings, it is really what is called about, it's low, so you start to notice some big downgrades here and there in some of the stuff, but still it's not really that bad, you still enjoy reflections and shadows, so not all every, not all the everything is lost, there is still a ultra low settings that looks really bad, and there is also a ultra high settings which, well, in this PC plays like 10 FPS which is completely unplayable. So my personal suggestion for me it is to play at medium settings, playing between 50 to 60 frames per second and sometimes 70. It is more than playable, still it's still not perfect to be honest, but it's pretty playable and keep in mind that the Fanon 2x4 CPU it has already 9 years old and the graphic cards have 6, so it's a very old system and still handles the game quite well. Okay, so. I think that's all that I want to talk about F1 2018, if you have any questions just leave uh, a comment on the comment section of the video. For the rest of the video you will keep enjoying the rest of this Australia benchmark which is near the end and then I will show off how it looks like on Monaco with heavy rain. Ok, so guys thank you a lot for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye guys.